Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dan, the voice behind that Kaito Dan, and welcome to Ruby Chibi episode 13, Reaction. A day later than usual. Uh, yeah, I usually have my Ruby Chibi episode reactions out every Saturday, but unfortunately yesterday I was mostly out of town, uh, doing shopping and all stuff, and seeing the uh, Suicide Squad. Um, my opinion on that film... It's a bit middle of the ground, but anyway, uh, yeah, unfortunately I just didn't have the free time I needed uh, to do this, but it's the day after, it's Sunday, it's a very hot day, and I'm here, though, uh, quick thing first, uh, since my last update regarding my subscribers from hitting two, uh, not 200, from hitting 500 subscribers plus, I've now passed 600 now, which is amazing, that jump from 500 to 600. So again, thank you so much to every single one of you who subscribe to me. I feel very privileged uh, to have that many people interested in what I do and enjoying what I do. Uh, so again, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that. Um, and of course, the project that I'm working on to celebrate hitting 500 beforehand... The Ruby subscriber, uh, Ruby, uh, I'm rambling. The Ruby ship name analysis project will be out, uh, this week. It's going to be four parts over four days because it's a big project, but it is going to be coming out. So please look forward to that. It was a lot of work, but I hope you all enjoy it. But let's get into this Ruby Chibi episode 13. Last week we had the introduction of Sun and Neptune for the first time in this series, and uh, some good fun there, and Ruby's version of Little Red Riding Hood, which was a ton of fun. And we heard um, Ozpin and Port for the first time, I don't know if we're going to see them in actual chibi form yet, but it was a lot of fun and I'm really excited to see what they've got next for this week. So let's switch over to the episode now, and we're going to begin in 3, 2, 1... Do 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 Definitely feels like a good summer lately. We're actually getting some good weather here in Britain. It's one of those rare occurrences. This is so Oh god, is this spin the bottle? Oh it's spin the bottle! Oh god. And let me guess, it's gonna be a kiss one. This is gonna be big for the shippers. I think we got Team Juniper, and Weiss for some reason, and Neptune. I think they're trying to figure out who's kissing. John? Yeah. Oh god, is it red? Is it gonna be red? Oh my god, it's gonna be red. <laughs> huh? Oh my god, what ship's that? Let me try to remember. I think that's martial arts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think we're gonna get some boy love. Is he actually gonna go for it? What the hell? <laughs> you think he's gonna go for it? Oh my god. Oh, I guess they can't go too far. Oh, but that was... Ah, uh, I want to see more of them now. Give us more of the spin the bottle fun. Oh god, Blake's trying to get away from Zwei again. This has become like the longest running gag throughout the entire Chippy series, and I'm all for it, especially because we're probably not going to get much of Blake and Zwei in the actual main show now. Where is he? Ain't gonna be in there. Though saying that, he did get shoved into that postal tube, so I guess he can fit in anything. I doubt it'll fit in a book. I love the facial animations for this as well, especially with Blake, because you don't usually get many facial animations from her bar. Oh boy. Ah. And he winked as well. Now I want a Zwei body pillow. Uh, not body pillow, just a normal pillow. Not a body pillow. No, 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 no. <laughs> You need to get your acts together. No I'm glad she said acts. No more reading. No I more have to go back and read what was on that book later. Just to figure out what the title was. We gotta toughen you up. Oh you god, Instructor Nora's back. The world without thunder thighs. Wait, I thought thunder thighs was a derogatory term. Kinda? You tell me. Sumo Nora. Oh god. I wouldn't want to go up in a sumo match against her. <laughs> Jesus. And to think, this is an energetic person paired up with Ren, who's practically a sloth in person. 
Very zen like that. With the warm up, now let's start the real workout. Bench this, 765 reps. 765? What a random number! She's not human. You're telling me. Oh God! <laughs> By living with her. Did I say you could? Even Pyrrha's injured and <laughs> flipping out. Of course, John's in a full body cast. <laughs> oh, that was a lot of fun. We got if back to free ship, uh, free skits there. And still more of a uh, plug in the stuff. But yeah, that was good fun. We had uh, some more shipping stuff with a spin the bottle. I want to see more rounds of spin the bottle. Uh, especially playing off just like weird pair ups. Especially <laughs> Ren and uh, Jean. I, again, I think that's called martial arts. If I can recall. Because, um, you know, Ren's got the basically a ninja style and Jean arc. Um, what? What was that again? Blake running away from Zoi again. Again, that seems to be the longest running gag for the entire Chibi series, which I'm not really complaining about because it's always charming as heck. Um, and again, now I want a Zoi pillow, like a big plushie that you can have like a pillow for that. And Zoi is just awesome as ever. And Nora is just practically insane as ever. But gosh damn it, she's so cute. You can't, you can't really hate on Nora. But yeah, that's it for this episode reaction. What do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments down below and follow me on Twitter at ThatKaitoDan to keep up to date on anything in terms of updates on future videos, Ruby news, and just randomness from yours truly. But until next time, have a good day or good night, and peace out.